What is going on YouTube? Silver Surfer coming your way with a fun little video here. I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't actually made a video in a while. That's because I've been super busy with my educational endeavors, so bear with me on that. But um, know that I am watching all of your guys' videos as best as I can every time I get a little break from work and uh, I go ahead and log on and check it out. But anyways, this is not the video I really wanted to show you guys. That one is a little, little frustration here with the US Postal Service as I'm sure many of you all have experienced before, um, purchased a really awesome numismatic coin that is um, having some struggle bus right now. It's up somewhere in one of the post offices that I sent it to family to not pay sales tax and yada, yada, yada. Long story short, the thing is lost. It appear appears and um, I'm working the problem trying to get it back to me. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I should have that um, and I can go ahead and share it with you guys. But until then, I wanted to show you what I do have. This is a Queen's Beast series of 10 different Queen's Beast bullion rounds that I started when they first came out in 2016. And many of you know that I've mentioned in my prior videos, I do invest a little bit in precious metals as part of my investment portfolio, um, mainly gold, uh, a little bit in silver as well when it was cheaper prices. But um, because of the scream up in prices that we've had recently, um, and in the past, kind of recent, I've sold a lot and used that money and proceeds to invest into numismatic things. Uh, not really invest, but just buy numismatic things like currency. Um, so that's kind of where I've gotten all that. But this is one series that I still do partake in. And I've been following it since the beginning. So this is, we'll just start and show you guys all of them in the final piece. So this is a 2016 Lion of England. Sorry about my lighting here. I'm trying to get it as best as possible, but it's been a challenge. I just moved into uh, my new location and uh, don't have all my stuff set up appropriately. So not that I was some expert YouTuber to begin with in the past, but I think I had it dialed in a little bit better of natural light and um, light bulbs and stuff like that. But these are cool, man. You know, they don't have all that milk, to milk spotting like some of the other cheapo rounds. And a lot of these, I got them all when they first came out. They're slightly over face value or uh, over spot value um, with very little premium when they when they first uh, started coming out so i think i scored on them getting them at that price yeah some of these earlier beginning issues like this one uh, the red dragon of wales is uh, a pretty little penny now and not not because of the higher price in silver um, so yeah these are all two ounces and they got great detail guys Great, great detail here. That's some scratches on the case there, not on the actual round itself, as you can see. But old Queen Elizabeth on all of them on the back. Uh, nothing too surprising there. Go down to the next here, the third one. I think, and I hope I got these in order. I, I might have one or two out of order. They're making two of them about a year, every year or so. Uh, or two or three of them a year, something like that. But um, what is this one? The Griffin of Edward. This one too is pretty pricey, man. Out of focus, there you go. Flip it on the back. Again, Queen Elizabeth, nothing too fancy. Go to the next one. I kind of like this one here. The old Black Bull of Clarence. Check him out. Look at him up there, those big old horns and snout. He's looking pretty rad. Pretty cool indeed. I'm not going to flip the reverse on all of them because they're pretty much the same darn thing. Maybe a little difference on the... Um, field designs around Elizabeth's head. Uh, it's got some kind of textile pattern going on there. And we'll go down to the fifth, I believe, issue. What is this? Unicorn of Scotland. Kind of interesting little design there. Backside looks like the Clarence bowl. And down here. The sixth one, this is a falcon of planted, plantagenets. I think that's how you say it. And this case is just ugly. I gotta get a better case here. I think I got another one in my garage somewhere. Look at that sucker, man. That thing is just stinking scratched up old case, huh? But again, it's all on the actual cases. It, the coins themselves, rounds themselves have done very well um, with, for the quality price that you pay for the little bit of over uh, spot price premium, um, I can't complain at all, man. These things and these things have done very well. This one kind of looks weird, to be honest with you. I'm not the biggest fan of this design. All right, moving on. We got this interesting looking character right here. I like this one, the Yale of Beaufort, or Beaufort, however you want to pronounce it. Another 2019 one here. 
Again, I just got some, he's all warded up and some horns going on, some other deals, that's cool. I like this one right here, this one's cool. And the back hasn't changed, reverse, excuse me, hasn't changed all that much. The Yale of Beaufort, Beaufort. Moving, oopsie daisy, sorry about that. What do we got here? Let's go Silver Surfer, get back on it. The White Lion of Mortimer. This one's kind of like the other, the original line of England. Um, kind of a similar little remake there. I think the, yeah, they both look cool. They both look pretty cool. White Lion of Mortimer there. Number nine is the White Horse of Hanover. That one's pretty. And this one's 2020 as well. And again, all two ounces. So you got a total of 20 ounces here of bullion in general. Like I said, man, these things are going for just above uh, like spot price, really. I mean, not, not all that much. And finally, the latest one, number 20, or excuse me, number 10, 2021, the White Greyhound of Richmond. I actually like this going a lot because I have a Visla, Hungarian Visla. For those of you that don't know what it is, go ahead and Google it. It's my best friend, besides my family, of course, but uh, she is 100% part of our family. And um, she, you know, they look very similar to Greyhounds, not as skinny as them, but similar kind of sporting look of the, of the dog. So I think it's pretty cool. I think they did a good job on it. Just got it in the mail the other day. I had an e-bucks deal that, like 20 bucks in eBay uh, bucks that I actually forgot about. And they sent me an email saying it expires in like three hours or something like that. And I was like, what the heck, man? So I ended up jumping on eBay real quick and just finding something. And I was like, oh yeah, this thing's going. So I got it from Liberty Coin up in Signal Hill, California or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's expensive. This is the most expensive one I paid just because of silver prices right now. But um, I had to have it, dudes, to finish off the set. So there you have it. That's the final one. Sorry for the shaky camera here. But that is the final one of the set. I am all completed, and it feels good to complete sets, man. You know, uh, we've been working on this thing for uh, four years now, and um, pretty sweet, pretty stoked to be done with it. So happy to share it with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I haven't seen too many people posting the complete set yet out there, so maybe I'll get some... Some of the old school YouTubers that used to watch my stuff until I shipped it in the currency. <laughs> uh, but yeah, until next time, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope everyone's doing well and Silver Surfer is out.